In Proverbs chapter 13, verse 18, King Solomon says, Whoever disregards discipline comes to poverty and shame, but whoever heeds correction is honored. So as we look at that verse, we see that honor comes to those who are willing to accept correction. In his book, How to Make People Really Feel Loved, the late author and minister, Dr. Charlie Shedd, gave us 10 ways that we can grow through criticism. Number one, criticism is often a compliment. The barbs in daily life strike only those who raise their heads above ground level. Jesus said in Luke 6, 22, Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you, and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. When people cut us down, it means that the truth is too close for comfort for them and that they are uncomfortable. Secondly, accept that you have faults which are open to censure. Stay humble and criticism won't rattle you then. Number three, in Proverbs 12, 6, we find these words of Solomon. The words of the wicked lie in wait for blood, but the speech of the upright rescues them. The words of godly people can change lives. Invite criticism from friends. Then, when it comes from your enemies, you'll already be broken in and it won't harm you. Number four, let criticism make you better. When you burn with anger, you destroy the passport to your own improvement. The Apostle Peter writes in 1 Peter 2.20, But how is it to your credit if you receive a beating for doing wrong and endure it? But if you suffer for doing good and you endure it, this is commendable before God. If we are suffering for doing right, we should patiently endure it. God knows what we're going through. Number five, some criticism should be ignored, especially if it stems from false motives. Never give unhappy people the key to your happiness. Number six, keep it in perspective. Everybody hasn't heard. Most people don't care. One bad word doesn't cancel the good that's in you. Number seven, let criticism make you kinder. Remind yourself that you have criticized others too. Is this a boomerang that started in your own heart? Think about that. Number eight, pray for your critics. It will improve them and neutralize your bitterness. Hate destroys your health and it steals your happiness. Number nine, check with the master critic. What does God say? And how do things look deep in your soul? And number 10, when you have checked to make sure that you are right, move ahead. In quiet confidence, finish what you started because God's promises are to those who endure. As Paul writes in Hebrews 6, 12, we do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. So keep going and grow through criticism. You can do it. I want to thank again everybody who helped make our Operation Christmas Child shoebox packing party a huge success this past Saturday. We were able to pack 600 boxes thanks to those of you who donated items throughout the year from bargain finds and our Amazon wish list. Thank you to our OCC Angels team, which worked diligently throughout the year to get things organized, and to our team of 47 volunteers who packed the box of Saturday, and of course to Deb Emerson, who oversaw the whole operation. What a great job all of you did. It was so nice to walk into worship yesterday and see the wall of red and green that represents the 600 children who will hear the gospel message as they receive a tangible reminder of the fact that God loves them. Thank you for making that possible. And if you still have your boxes out, we'll still be collecting through this coming Sunday, November the 19th. Have a great day and week, church. And I will see you on Friday with more thoughts from the Word for You today.